Future Soldier sets out how the army will fight and win modern conflicts. Data and technology will be used more and more in conflict, with robotic and autonomous vehicles such as drones, used by us and by our enemies. This will increasingly reduce the number of people engaged in the front line and render legacy capabilities obsolete ever more rapidly. New funding, set at approximately £25 million, will see the army invest further in projects across the people, process and technology areas, to develop equipment and people ready for the future battlefield. Its focus will be those areas that are both new and novel to defense and the team in being encouraged to embrace risk in its approach. The funding comes as the British Army prepares for the Royal United Services Institute Land Warfare Conference, the annual United Kingdom meeting of the British Army, its international partners and allies, and the defense industry. This year's theme is Integrated for Operation Today and Warfighting Tomorrow, and we'll look at warfighting on the future battlefield. The conference features a session dedicated to warfighting on the future battlefield, with panelists drawn from an international field, including senior military and academic experts. Central to the Army's innovation for the future battlefield is the recently announced Defense Battle Lab in Dorset. The Battle Lab, a pan-defense initiative, is focused on closing the loop between the end user and both traditional and non-traditional defense industry. The Battle Lab has an engineering workshop, areas for collaboration, conference rooms, and other dedicated spaces. The facility will hold regular Dragon's Den style pitching sessions, industry showcases and focus challenges, allowing the British Army to work closely with industry to make sure that it has access to the latest technology quickly. The Defence Battle Lab will work closely with the Army Research Innovation and Experimentation Laboratory to bring new concepts into use. The Army Research Innovation and Experimentation Laboratory alone currently has 65 projects ongoing worth £35 million. Brigadier Matt Cansdale, Head of Future Force Design for the Army, said, The Defense Battle Lab will offer the Army and other defense users its first true, dedicated innovation, experimentation, exploitation center, an open innovation and collaboration environment, both physical and virtual, where tactics and technology combine to drive operational advantage, now and for the future. The Battle Lab will be trusted to solve people, process and technology challenges throughout the organization at a pace that is relevant. The Royal United Services Institute 1 will give us an opportunity to think about some of the concepts behind the future work of the Battle Lab and the Army Research Innovation and Experimentation Laboratory. Defense Minister Jeremy Quinn said, The Army's Battle Lab in Dorset will build close industry relationships, whilst exploiting cutting-edge technologies to keep our armed forces sharp in the face of new and changing threats. This initiative will foster talent and innovation and will drive future success. The Army will use the Army Battle Lab as the physical manifestation of the Army Research Innovation and Experimentation Laboratory. It will allow the end users, our soldiers, the opportunity to work with innovative industries in a shared space, allowing ideas to be developed and technology and equipment to be refined.
Battle Lab will mean exciting events, such as the Army Warfighting Experiment, will become more routine and increases the potential to scale up new and innovative technologies. Major Jen Bennett, Director Capability said, the Army Battle Lab offers an unparalleled opportunity for the Army to engage directly and persistently with industry, small and medium enterprises and institutions who can help us think about our challenges differently. Early engagement between end users, our soldiers and those who have the expertise to develop technology, combining our requirements and experience, will change how we develop and procure unique and technical capabilities going forward. It is an exciting and innovative approach, directly supporting our transformation agenda, and we very much look forward to seeing how it progresses. Dorset boasts a particularly strong defence sector and is home to the Army's Armoured Trial and Development Unit in Bovington, the Royal Corps of Signals Training Centre in Blandford, and a unique training area at Lulworth Cove, which includes cleared airspace up to 5,000 feet, making it ideal for experimentation and trials to occur. The Army Battle Lab will feature an engineering workshop, as well as joint working and conference areas for use by the Army and wider Ministry of Defense, for at least 15 years. In its first 10 years the program aims to create 90 new local jobs and add £4 million to the local economy. As a highly equipped space, the Battle Lab will enable the Ministry of Defence to work directly with academic institutions, defence primes, small and medium enterprises and wider industry to develop new products and technologies which could be commercialised.